Good morning, everybody, and happy Wednesday. Welcome back to shooting the shit with me. Okay. So, um, I recorded a different video and it's longer, um, on, uh, I don't even remember. Spirit had me talking about two different things. Uh, it, but I know it pertained to like goals and the fruit of your goals or something like that. It's about 40 minutes long. And it also has in it um, something that I purchased off of Amazon to help with that. Um, not necessarily that I need it, but I like to try different things to, um, so that I can talk to you guys about it. So if you want me to post that longer video, I will do that. Okay, but today we're going to shoot the shit about whatever pops up when I open this deck up. Um, first and foremost, are y'all all right? Like, how y'all doing with everything? How has 2021 been treating you? Um, like, is y'all okay? All right, like if you need a virtual hug, I got you, I'll send you one, right? Um, you know, like, are y'all all right? I just wanna make sure y'all all right, okay? Um, that being said, we're gonna go through this deck today because I just feel like with all the bullshit that's going on, we need a little feminine energy and to understand how masculinity plays in that. Like, yes, this is about the divine feminine but it's harnessing that in so many different ways right but um we're just gonna go through this um i've had this deck for a while but um i figured it might be good for you guys to go through so whatever um card speaks to you go ahead and you know mention that below um and uh you know i'm curious what card come like you know sticks out to you the most um, and I hope that the lighting is okay because, you know, um, when the sun comes out, it does its own thing sometimes. And today I just figured I should probably turn the light on. So I'm doing that. I hope you guys are hydrated. I hope your week has been going well. If it has not been going well, I hope it gets better. Right? Now, because y'all know I be on something sometimes. Um, let's, let's talk. Real talk. And I know there was a little pause there. Um, there is a guidebook with this. I don't use guidebooks all that much. Um, so I, that's probably why y'all never see me show it to you guys. But there's a guidebook. So if you want this deck and you want a deck that has a decent guidebook, that one has one. Um, she also wrote a book that I really want to read, but I haven't had a chance to. Um, and it's um, on... Uh, Mary Magdalene um but I forget the name of it at the moment um but uh I want to read that book but let's talk let's talk and I'm gonna pose this question and you guys can answer how you feel right you can comment below. You can keep the damn answer to yourself. I don't really care. I'm just going to pose this question because it's kind of based on the video that I recorded the other day for this. Um, I shouldn't say the other day. I recorded yesterday for this um, question, but I didn't really talk about this in that video. Um, what's standing in your way? of reaching your goal okay a lot of times we're simply trying to identify um what that um you know like what it is that we actually want to achieve um we really don't uh really look at what's actually in the way what's the roadblock is it our conscious mind is it our subconscious mind is it What's really in the fucking way? Now, I'm asking that question. I'm posing that question to you guys, I should say. Because um, sometimes what's in the way is trauma. A 
okay no matter how little how, how great it is trauma itself can be in the way you might have been traumatized at some point or um, something just kind of shook you up and change is just not your friend. So that goal you would like to reach, you're like, yes, I would like to reach it. But change, we don't click, right? Um, I love that this card, I love this card, I should say, um, because I do a, I guess it goes, goes with this. Um, I do a form of healing that is called Dakini Reiki, and it's based on uh, healing trauma. Um, but what's in your way? Ooh, ooh, my favorite. What's in your way, right? What's keeping you from reaching that goal? Now, for me, because I'm about to get personal with y'all, so y'all understand that I am, you know, I'm having a human experience just like you are. What's in my way is starting over, okay? Um, I don't like starting over. Not all the damn time. It gets on my nerves. Ooh, that's like, um, it gets on my fucking nerves. I hate fucking starting over. Um, because, you know, and it's not even my doing, it's someone else's doing. So to kind of give you some backstory, I have been single for eh, six years now, a little over six years. Ooh, another favorite. Um, and, uh, let me make sure this isn't shining directly on it. Okay, there we go. Um, I've been single for six years, but it's not by choice. I was kind of like forced into it because one day, um, old partner of mine decided to wake up and choose violence. And when I say violence, not necessarily physical violence, it was more of like an emotional verbal violence. Um, they came home and said, Hey, I'm tired of you. We can just go back to being friends. And that was, that was a hell of a blow. Okay. Um, I think that's what started my, my feeling low. And like, it was like rock bottom for me because you know, you get to a certain point and you become comfortable and you don't want things to change. You don't want things to rearrange. And so at that point, I literally said, okay, what did I do? And they said, nothing. It's not you. It's me. And I said, okay, you belong to the streets. That's all you're telling me. Okay. So we decided to be friends and now, you know, we're still friends. Okay, um, another favorite here. Um, we're still friends. It was a hell of a lesson. Let me tell you, the good thing she popped up. Um, we're still friends. We still live in the same, like we live in the same home. Um, still have the dog and everything, but we treat each other as friends. And that's a level of respect that, you know, some people don't have with their exes. But... I have found myself over the past six years healing from not just that breakup, but every breakup prior to that. And that's probably the reason I just stayed single and and not entertained anything. Um, I've tried entertaining things and it just doesn't work because I get annoyed very quickly when the energy doesn't feel good. Um, but... I find myself healing from, I mean, everything, right? Whether it was every piece of trauma that my mind could conjure up all hit me at once. And I was just like, we're not about to go down without a fight. And so what I did was, <laughs> this is a good one. I showed, I did, I showed mercy on myself. I said, girl, let go or be dragged. That's exactly what I said to myself. I said, let go or be dragged. And a lot of times that letting go is not necessarily about just saying fuck it and not thinking thinking about it any longer. It's let go of my attachment to that very situation, that very piece of trauma. It's letting go of that, right? It's letting go 
and accepting that that is what was, but no longer what is, right? And I'm okay with that. And that is a part of change that sometimes is just not very easy to accept. And I think that as we grow, not necessarily on a spiritual basis, but just in general, when you're healing and you're um, emotionally healing, you're mentally healing, you're physically healing, you grow and you set better boundaries and you come to these realizations that you might need to rearrange your goals because you may have set a certain type of goals for one point in time and you might need to restructure, restructure them to fit this time, if that makes sense. Um, oh, I love this card too. So as of late, I have been bombarded with um, all types of people and energy asking me, well, what do you really want? And a lot of times I had never stopped to ask myself, what does Catrice really, truly want? Because I never really think about that. I just say, okay, this is something I need to work through and I'll work through it. And then whatever, the, whatever comes of that, I'm grateful for, grateful for the whole process. But I haven't actually, like my vision board is more work-based stuff than it is personal. And I think that is where my hiccup is when it comes to manifesting for myself, okay? For other people, I got you, right? Like I can help you move mountains. Like I can call in spirit and whatnot. I can, but for myself, I don't, you know, I'd be thinking like, what the hell is this shakeup? What's in the way? It's because I, I haven't faced it, right? Like, and it's time to face it. Um, this was actually the card of the day yesterday, but this is pretty much where I'm at. I'm at this point where I'm like, okay, bitch, what do you want? And I can call myself a bitch because sometimes I just got to address myself that way. But I literally have to go, what exactly do you want? Do you want a partner? Do you want a home of your own? Do you want to live by yourself? Well, honestly, I'm like whoopee. Th there are times where I'm just like, I don't want nobody in my house. So I'd be thinking to myself, like, I probably am better off single when I think about that. But then I think to myself, like, maybe I'm just better off not looking for marriage. And I've never really looked for marriage, but like, it's understanding that I don't need marriage. I prefer something long term, but not necessarily marriage. Um... And I can understand that because then I can live separate from the person. But do I really want to live separate from somebody? And we're just talking about my personal goal. And this, let's just talk about love because it's easy to talk about this shit, right? But like looking at the whole grand scheme of things, I, things I go, uh, what's in my way? I am in my way. I am in my way, right? And it's not necessarily the monkey mind. It was the trauma. I'm not going to fucking lie to you. It was the trauma, okay? Um, and I've come to this point where I just, you know, I don't want to harbor any attachments to the old trauma. So I did a full clearing on myself, okay? With, for everything that I could, you know, that spirit told me to go ahead and cut and I can release. And I learned that lesson, um, whatever the lesson was in those moments, I just cut. And I felt lighter. <laughs> um, I felt more secure, whole. Um, more at peace, I should say. Um, but then I realized like, okay, now I have goals and how do I reach them? Right? Because truth be told, if I were to start dating, I'm pretty sure this ex-partner of mine would be jealous. And in my mind, you let go. So get over it. 
Like, that's how I'd be thinking of it. But then I look at the situation, and you can apply this concept to any situation, but I'm just giving you this example. Um, this is a good one. Um, when I look at it, it's like, okay, have I been doing things to intentionally keep myself, quote unquote, quote, stuck where I am? Have I intentionally been placing myself in situations that keep my world constant in a comfort zone, right? And the answer is yes. Okay, I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm not afraid to um, acknowledge my role in where I'm at. Um, I have been wanting to move and live on my own for quite some time. But I literally would prevent myself from, um, I guess, making money to do so. Um, because that human experience says get comfortable get content and i i i'm really not about that i don't want to be comfortable unless it's my home right when you don't feel at home somewhere and that can be with anything whether it be a job whether it be um if you're going out to like if you done signed up for a gym and you just like this gym don't feel good anymore anything like that if it don't sit right with you it'll fuck you up energetically and that's kind of what happened um over the past four five months um i shouldn't say four or five three four months if i'm correct because it started in the middle of april and um it's gotten to now so for those of you who don't know um if you're new here hi i'm catrice um and I have a um, heart problem that's hereditary, okay? And what happens is any symptoms that I experience is triggered by stress. Um, so if um, my stress level gets too high, then it can produce a heart attack and or stroke, okay? I love this card. I love the energy of it. And this one. <laughs> She comes to me a lot. She shows me compasses and it usually tells me if I'm off center or if I'm not like in the right direction. Um, but uh, back in April, um, I was, I decided that it might be a good idea to try to date and I, it produced some um, extreme anxiety attack. And I figured out where the anxiety came from because my mind and my body felt like it was reliving a previous experience and it was throwing red flags at me. And every time I was around this person, it just gave me an anxiety attack um, to the point that um, what they were doing, the gaslighting the narcissistic behavior and things of that nature and you and i can handle it pretty well however the anxiety that i would experience um produced a stroke in the beginning of may and i have been in and out of physical therapy i have um full use of the left side of my body as of current like I finally got feeling back, like proper feeling back in the in my left arm. Um, but it made me acknowledge that when you're setting goals, when you're doing something and you're trying something new, um, your body will tell you if it's not right for you. Your body will also tell you, like, listen, this is uncomfortable, but let's keep going. It's okay to um experience fear. It's not okay to live in it. So when you're reaching these goals and you're setting these goals and things of that nature, like for me, I don't want a partner that produces that kind of fucking anxiety. I've told myself that over many years. I will immediately walk away and that's kind of what happened there. Um, 
but my body couldn't handle it because my heart was already in a weakened state because I, I had already been in and out of physical therapy. So that being said, when I was working through all of that trauma and things of that nature, um, I got to see just how hurt I was on a physical level. I got to see how hurt I was on an emotional level. And I got to understand how I was in my own way. Okay? There's nothing like realizing that you your own problem. Okay? There's nothing like realizing that you are your own problem. Um, and I don't like being my own problem. I don't ever want to continue to be my own problem. Um, so I decided to make some changes, right? And that was when I decided that uh, I'm probably better off staying single and I'm okay with that. And so that's where I'm at. And uh, it's scary because I know where I belong, but that fear of jumping into that change, taking a risk, um, it's like for those of you who have earth placements like in like a lot of earth placements understand it's very difficult for you to do change but when you can see the end result and understand that that change is going to produce a better life it's very easy for you to go through it for me however i don't like to read myself okay um because i don't want to constantly be asking like what's happening in the future show me show me show me I like to be able to understand the present moment so that I can uh, grasp the meat of the situation and understand how what it takes to bear the fruit that I'm looking for so I know this kind of like this whole video probably sounds like all over the place but truth be told change is necessary okay and if you you don't really stop and look at what's holding you back from something you'll always be stuck and I just don't I don't have the space I don't have the time I don't have the energy to waste on being in my own way I don't have that in me with any anymore and I'm sorry for all the shaking it's because of the where the camera's sitting and you know the attachment if i hit the table it shakes um but this is another favorite card um what's in your way how are you holding yourself back how can you prepare yourself for forward right um and are you ready for it right like i mean i've been making some decisions lately where I can start to see the shape of my goal and understand that, okay, I'm getting a little bit closer, right? Um, this I love because you're never, never not broken. Um, the, like if you get this deck, I think once you read on it, you'll understand it. Um, and then here's Mary Magdalene, of course. Um, another favorite. Um, but get out of your own way get get out of your own way get out of your head right um unclench your fucking jaw and allow what needs to come through to come through right if it's time to move your body's gonna fucking tell you right um if it's time to change jobs your body will tell you right spirit will keep giving you warning after warning after warning before finally it says Okay, since you won't quit, we'll get you fired. Understand that, like, if you ain't listening, it'll tear you up, right? And for me, with not listening and being in my own way, and I love this, um, it has caused some... My body has been reacting. My body has been like, bitch, we don't want to be here right and I'm like okay I understand so what does that involve for me right because I ideally am being called to move out of this state um 
why am I staying? Because I feel like there's more work to do, right? But I also feel like I can do that work from afar, okay? Um, but I still have some stuff left to do here in, in this state, so I won't be moving just yet, but I'm planning to get there. And so what I'm doing on a spiritual level, I won't tell you because you're not about to jinx my shit. So don't everybody, don't ever, don't tell everybody your business, right? But I'm doing things on each level, okay, to uh, get to that goal, right? And um, and understanding that you know I can't just be doing this, that, and the third when. I've spent so long allowing spirit to to walk me through situations that I did not think that I would survive, right? Like, in my case, all the, sh the, the strokes that I have had, that I've had three total, were very mild, okay? The last one was a little bit less mild and a little bit, like, not really severe, but I had more symptoms with the last one. The first two, I didn't even know it was a stroke. This last one, I knew. I knew. And um, I'm just separating out all of that to mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, financial, and just looking at all of that and how do I want to redirect my goals. Um, understand, I am not one of those readers who are, you know, all about the Benjamins. I am not, okay? Um I, I just, I'm not built like that. And spirit, I don't think would let me be built like that because I will turn away money, okay? <laughs> like, if some of you know me, there are people who are like, oh, I'd like to get a reading from you. And I'm like, not for me because <laughs> I don't want your money. Go see this person. I will send you where you belong because I can tell based on the energy if I'm the one to assist you or if I know someone who would assist you better. Um, than I can, right? Given your energy, given your situation and what it is that I do, right? Um, so I tend to um, send people elsewhere before just taking their money because I just, I don't have that in me. Um, it, it just feels unethical, okay? And um, so I'm not money driven. I am like I like to see people succeed. So my 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 drive comes from watching the people I work with excel at what they're doing, right? And I love it. I absolutely love it. And I want more of that. Now, the reward for helping that person is the money. So and and don't get it twisted I usually and I'll tell you guys this part whatever I make I usually take a portion of that and donate it um to because when I got it I can donate it to causes that I feel needed um and I don't always promote that because I don't want people to think that I'm doing it for you know show because I'm not I'm doing it because that's where my heart leads me to go um, so I'm not money driven. So the way I have to break down my goals is I have to make sure that whatever it is I'm offering to the community, um, I get something back, right? Whether it be a lesson for me or a new client or um, a new business venture or something like that. I usually like normally I wouldn't look at what's in it for me, but now I kind of have to. Because I have goals that I need to reach. And to do that, I have to look at my role in every situation and what it is that's coming toward me as I'm giving out. Because if I'm giving too much and not getting enough back, well, that's an unbalanced feeling. And I don't think anybody wants to ever feel unbalanced, right? So, um, you know... I like to do that, right? Now, don't get it twisted. I'm not going to stop giving information for free, right? Like, I'm going to do my weekly videos and, you know, shoot the shit with y'all and everything. 
um, and and roll through um, decks. Now I promise you, like some of these names in here, don't ask me to pronounce because I don't know how. Okay, um, I think my tongue is foreign, even though I speak English. Like I don't know where it be because sometimes I be saying shit that don't even it don't even be sounding right to me. Okay, but you know I had to look at where I was and my goals and and whether or not that I was. Uh, in my way and I was and, I, and I, I am in some regards okay I can acknowledge that if I'm being mindful about everything and looking at the um the present situation um I know that I was I'm still in my own way on some things and that is where I am taking ooh, we done bent the card we don't want nothing just the card we gonna look at so I can fix it um I think that's what I'm going to focus on so that I can achieve my goal. Oh, look at that. Right? Um, and a lot of times, I'm going to zoom in so you guys can really see this card. Um, a lot of times when we recognize that we're in our own way, we will judge ourselves. So I guess this is a really good card that came out. Um, so take what you need from the card, okay, or take what you need from the other cards that I showed. Um, but this is the card, like the ending message, I should say. Um, I, you know, we will, we tend to judge ourselves when we realize we're in our own way. And I'm past that. I'm not at, like, I used to judge myself for being in my own way. Now I'm like, okay, but what's, why, why did I decide to be in my own way? I'm actually exploring what kept me in my own way. And a lot of times it just comes down to fear, right? And it comes down to um, comfort zones. And I always tell people two things. Comfort zones do not, they don't do anything but produce mold and mildew. And fear is just frustrated desire. But that frustration comes when you look at the whole picture and you go, where's the bottleneck, right? Like if you work in a factory or if you've ever seen a factory, if the line is slowing down, there's a bottleneck somewhere and you have to fix that problem so that your line moves smoothly. I was the bottleneck. I am the bottleneck, but I no longer wish to be. And so here I am making those changes. Here I, here I am making those decisions to get my life in order. I hope that makes sense. Um, and this ties to both professional and personal life. Right. I'm just in a space now where I don't have to be in my own way and I don't have to hold myself back um, because this person's feelings or that person's feelings. Um, what about mine? It's OK to be a little selfish, especially when you're doing healing work. What about you? Right. Are you thinking of you, too? Right. Because you fucking matter. Right. You're not a robot. And I know a lot of times people have treated me like a robot, but that's because I made myself that way. And that's not to say that they didn't play a part in that, but I'm the start of it, right? Like, even with the trauma that I learned at an early age, yeah, I'm the start of it because I didn't break that habit, okay? Now I'm breaking the habit and I have no choice because if I don't, will it produce another stroke? Will it produce a heart attack? Um... Is it going to limit my resources? Is it going to do this, that, and the third? You know, it's, it's just a matter of, it's not that I don't care about other people's feelings. It's that I care about me more. And it's okay to be happy. It's okay to reach your goals. It's okay for you to be the best version of yourself that you can possibly be. So, that being said... Take what you need from this message. I know it sounds a little bit all over the place because I am all over the place sometimes. But this is just real talk. This is not even really spirit driven. I mean, sort of. But like this is, you know, just a way for you guys to understand that it's, it's not all, you know, smell good roses and, you know, 
frilly tails on this side it we have work to do too right and if anybody says oh my life is in here life's not together baby because if you can say that it's all fucked up somewhere right um and that's not to say that nobody you know doesn't have their life together it's just a matter of how you got there and if you actually did the work and if you actually took the time to heal right trauma is a real thing and i wish <laughs> i wish trauma on no one right um especially those who might have PTSD or severe depression or anything like that. This is your time to really lose the judgment part because truth be told, if you continue to eat what other people feed you, which is their judgment, you'll starve. Okay. Um, so now's the time to get it together. Now it's time to move forward. And that's where I'm at. Okay. Um, the crystal I'm being told to mention, mention to you guys, and I don't want to mention it, lithium quartz. Um, that's a good crystal to have. Lithium quartz and that blue, that looks like blue lace agate or a um, angel light. So some of you might gravitate more towards angel light than the blue lace agate, but they're both kind of similar in color. So there you go. You guys got three crystals. Lithium quartz, blue lace agate, and angelite. Um, the, the blue ones are really good for like your third eye and your throat. So if you're having trouble verbalizing things, that could totally work for you. And if you having trouble getting clouded in your third eye, um, you can like take the crystal, make sure it's clean. Put it in your water bottle and just drink in that crystal essence and that will help too um so yeah you got options that being said this video seems like it's probably just as long as the other one but i'm if you want the other one i'll post it but for right now you guys are getting this one um that being said i wish you all a great week um i wish you nothing but ease in your journey right um and roadblocks that will always be removed, right? I pray Ganesha shows you all the abundance and new beginnings that you can possibly have in the best way possible and make it a great week, all right? Have a good one.